Good evening and welcome to KCCFC TV. That is episode number 13. And in this one, we have plenty and plenty of stuff. To start it off, we have an unveiling. That is unveiling number eight on this show. We have the fan zone. That is the KCCFC fan zone. The fans have spoken and there is a, an interesting topic for this show. We have the social media trivia and we'll be getting to know, did people win this week or didn't people win? We have a guest on the show tonight and he's a former captain for the KCCFC junior team currently playing for the KCCFC senior team. And then we also have club news, what is happening in the co-finds that is at Lugogo, that is Star Time Stadium. Everything on the show tonight, plenty and plenty of hot stuff. My name is Magero Moses Mwanje. Let's walk this journey together. Now to start it off this week, we'll start with the club news. What is happening in the co-finds at the Star Time Stadium Logogo? That is the home of KCCFC. We'll start with the latest player who has left the club and has been given his release later. That is Ibrahim Saddam Juma. Ibrahim Saddam Juma joined KCCFC in 2017 and has been a player at KCCFC for three seasons. He will not be a player for KCCFC anymore because his contract ran down and um, he will be joining another club that is if he wishes to. And just to give you some of his statistics, he's been a very big player for the football club, top player and the man for the moment, call it the big moment. And not to forget, he scored on his debut that was against Force Rabat in the CAF Confederations Cup. That was his first game for KCCFC. And not to forget, he also scored the first CAF Champions League group stage goal on Ugandan soil. That was against Al Ahli in 2018. That game ended 2-0. That was a wonderful scorcher from Ibrahim Saddam Juma. He also scored in the inaugural Pilsen Super 8 final against Oduparaka Football Club. That game ended 2 0 at Mutesa 2 Wankulukuku Stadium. And KCCFC won that inaugural tournament. He scored a brilliant free kick in that game. And then lastly, he scored the first goal for KCCFC in the Sekafa Kagame Cup that was in the group stages against Bandari Football Club. Came on as a substitute. That game ended 1 1. And that is Mr. Ibrahim Saddam Juma, the man for the big moment. We surely thank you very much for the services and the memories you've rendered to KCCA and we only wish you the very best in your future. Now in the social media trivia for this week, we asked a question on our social media pages. The question was, Opio Sande joined KCCA in 2018. He made his senior debut in 2020. Against which Uganda Premier League side did he score? And how many goals has he scored for both junior team for KCCA and the senior team for KCCA? What was up for grabs was the KCCA kit and it was to be one on the KCCFC TV show on Sanyuka TV at 10 p.m. on Sunday. And uh, we'll start it off with uh, Twitter, uh, where we had Howard Joram Kato. He's been a perennial respondent on this social media trivia. And he says he scored his Uganda Premier League debut goal against Toro United. And it was the only goal for the senior team. He also scored eight goals for the junior team, hence making a total of nine goals. That's Ghetto Soul on Twitter. He says the young striker scored the only goal against... Toro United, and uh, that he didn't give you the sum. And then Professor Sekago Arnold says Opio made his first UPL debut against Bright Stars as a substitute. Opio made his first UPL debut game against Toro United. Opio scored his first UPL game goal against Toro United. The match ended 1 0, and he has 12 goals in total. That is Professor Sekago. And lastly, at Nze Asep says he came on in the second half against Bright Stars. He scored against Toro. He has one goal for the KCCA senior team and one goal for the KCCA junior team. Unfortunately, we have no winner on uh, our social media trivia for Twitter because I will be giving you the answer after the Facebook. And um, when you go to the Facebook respondents, uh, that is Beingana Junior Kama. He says he made his debut against Toro United and he scored the only goal that led KCCFC to win the game. He scored eight goals on the junior team side. In total, he has nine goals on both the junior and the senior team. Then Onek Adolfo says he debuted against Bright Stars and against Toro. He scored. The game ended 1 0. He scored the lone goal and he has scored one goal for the senior team and for the junior team, making it nine goals in total. And finally, on Facebook, Mr. Tibagala Peter Peter says Opio played in his senior team debut against Toro United and scored one goal. He also scored eight goals for the junior team and he has a total of nine goals. For the Kasasiro boys. Just like I said, unfortunately, we have no winner for our Facebook and Twitter for this week. And because 
Just to give you the stats for Mr. Pio Sande, Mr. Pio Sande joined KFC in 2018 and uh, he scored 12 goals in his first season, that is for the club. He scored nine goals for the junior team in his second season, that was 2019-2020. And he came on in the senior team and scored his first goal for the senior team against Toro United. That game ended 1-0 and the game was at Logogo and that makes it 12 plus 9 plus 1 and those are 22 goals for Mr. Opio Sande for both KCCFC senior team and the junior team whereby he has scored 21 goals for the junior team so far and he has one goal for the KCC senior team. Unfortunately, we have no winner. The social media trivia will be back next week and hopefully this time we'll have a winner. And I will go into the fan zone. And for the fan zone this week, we asked the fans which signing so far for KCCFC has excited you the most and which department do you think should be strengthened more before the 2020-2021 season. The fans had their take and their say on this one and we'll be getting to know what the fans exactly said in the fan zone. This is what happened when we caught up with the fans on this particular one. Amanya Nzeru Malamu Dani, Mbamu Fanzu Kirabu Yenaka Wadu Biyo Ni. Amanya Gange Nze Fatima Nantu Mbwe, Ndi Mwagizi Wa KCC, Mbamu Division Yenaka Wa. Uh, Amanya Senabla Dennis, Kwa Naka Wa Fans Club, uh, Ndi Mwagizi Wa KCC FC, For Some Good Time. Nsa Nyuki Denyo Kisisaba Zanyibere, Kwa Vana Bato, Ate Vana Balu Unji. Kwa Gamba Uze Business Jericho, Nu Unji Nyo. Omuzani kwenye sio kwenye sio kwenye sio ni dia yefadiga, fadiga mwa na moto ni mukuru mopira. Kesi siche kuzi chini chirungi, oksinzi langa wetu la wakati, etu te dawa zania walungi, etu te de upright and cani, etu te de guma, guma simu sada mowi ajatu kwa la walungi, imabega uwa itano wa na mopira au wana ajatu kwa la walungi. Eshizibu choka she tuli na just striker sinamlaba kasa tumufu no yo abana neva muompi ratu watu gena kita ubrunch. The signings that we are kakola zinzani sizani yokuwanga bana bato they are still learning a lot in football. I think abali so promising. Kwa gamba signings zona zona zetu kuzi zila ganti club ine begende era. Ebyo maso ni era kesi simu bentu yenge singe yenge yenge la kikole yenge nyonge mo bidi fruiti wanga mungu yeye muri timu lima bazani ya bafu demu singe fanya yuko mazani alimachu wako bali yenge yenge mo yenge mo wako ni era nzi ni sunu ni sunu ni dia ni yenge la bafu zibo na abali juu na jibali wa ba jibali juu kunyume rompira sana ni sinzo kumsa nsa na yeblaiti. Anukani Brighty. Anukani Brighty. Si mubi. Ni waba kubye paz. Ewe sobolo kutuka. Kumunto ye na guaba ajikubide. Awa sobolo tuko lele chitu ufunze. Mansu uvile chikopo kusizo neno tubatu ino chitu wala. Ngomwa no yo wali. Izumachiwe na fumomupida. Kwa tabulunja ya makati. And he has an eye for goal. Kwa gamba echimu kubi intuiti singo kweta gamu mupida. Gol ni zitava mu department into ba ba strikers boka waba la nemo midfield. Nchini la wazuri wuli mukesi si ba baka na baadhi baadhi nti sainti ngeje tu ina mo kutoa resort wani watu fanya ni ba kumi la machuwa na yonge na abera na abera wakati yao. Bega ba na ba na yesi siba siba to mpira ba gumani nengeje tu gani na mu confederation wani watu fanya mu zani yomalo ali machuwa ko. Wemba dini singo kwa galaa kesi si yonge lo kuteli zam. We gamba ye striking department, cause sisi ni wede goals za fezi ba dento no, nga walau nampi na go go la banti mwandi ba demu goba, ne ngo loko banti ba strikers tewe de sharp enough, ulusi ne mukola maliri, kwa ne waba kuba, like mupi na gua vipers kesi si, ichiende, if at all ba strikers ba febali sharp, ogompi atwa yuto goba, kuba atwa ba kola buli chimu chona chona, so nzema dini sababu kesi si wewe sawa la. If you a sharp striker, our goal is to get a goal. I think it's entertaining football. I'm going to go to KCC. 
tu subira okudam ompira ba inzo tuta na eba ambi mufeyo muge ochiba cheta gisa kugula mjoza mjoza tujigule ochiba cheta gisa watu gambe tu genda gula chiba nange tu chikole sabolo ku miza o club ya fe ku bembera mjira ba twise mu covid covid ya twise za bubi season ya mjira yote twise za bulunji kati ya tusaba chona cha baba tugambye bana ituchikole bagizi banange ompiro bagugenze maso kamuli mwa bagizi bate muli bagizi fetu ya siganga tugulaba online oba ku tv ne link season azo nazo bana abantu wadde kati era nkunga bagizi bakanso bona bona je bali Tugeze uko kuongira uko bagila club ya fe nga tugula t-shirts tugula ibikopo na bulichino na bulichintu chona chona club chetekao na yeso ogenda maso kunga aba wagizi ba KCC mbadde mbasaba tugoberera amateka wakuba kwa mbala maski bana maski tujambale wakuba kwa nga batugambya abagizi twagala 10 chetu batukola tetu waliriza nyumba kambwa te tuwalirize tuite no tugire bana itukumama teka tusobolo kole chintu abakuru che baba lagide tusobolo okumala ko bulunji abantu bonna bonna bengoro kwe ku mobulwa de ko bulwa de jeboli atebuta abafu de tubamanyi tubalaba yatubawulira kati mbale mbaga be kume poka muka mwana basizeo etukoma mu bisa ndo bompira Wow, mixed reactions from the fans. You've heard it for yourself. And the fans are also positive that in case football resumes and there will be no fans in the stadiums, they have vowed that they will support the club in any way possible. That is, buy the merchandise and also watch the games on the Star Times. That is, Star Times Uganda Premier League. And they will also be watching every game the KCCFC team will be playing. We'll be going to a break. And when we return, we have a guest interview with a former captain for the KCCA junior team and now playing for the KCCA senior team. And later on in the show, we have an unveiling, and that is unveiling number eight. Do you know this player? Do you know what he said? Plenty and plenty of brilliant, fantastic stuff on this show after this break. Now welcome back from that break and just like we told you we have guests on the studio and in this particular one we have a guest and he's a former player in the KCCFC junior team. He's currently playing for the KCCA senior team. In his first season he won the Sekafa Kagame Cup and the Super Cup for the club and he also helped the club to finish in the second position that is in the start times Uganda Premier League. We're going to be getting to know more from him, his times in the junior team, what are his goals in the club that is the KCCA senior team. Sir. Yes sir, thank you. Yeah, I'm by the name Musa Ramadan, mm -hmm. former captain KCCA junior team, now playing for the senior team. Wow, so Musa, we're going to be talking about more about your junior team life. How was life in the junior team? You were the captain there. Uh, you took on from Juru Hassan? Juru Francis. Juru Francis. How was the time in the, in the, in the junior team? Yeah, the time, was, the time in the junior team was okay. Yeah, the junior team was okay and then I felt so good playing for KCCA junior team. Yeah, and I uh, enjoyed life in the junior team. Mm. Yeah. How was it captaining uh, those youngsters? You were a youngster like them, but how was it captaining them? Because um, giving, getting that kind of responsibility at that age <laughs> is something quite good. How was it? Yeah, I felt so proud to be a captain. Yeah, I felt so proud to be given a captain to captain the team. Because mm. it was something very brilliant for me. I couldn't believe, like I could not believe that I could be the captain in such a team like KCC. Mm. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about some of the games that you had, and um, I'll, I'll just pick out one in the junior team. I remember you captained the team to win uh, some 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 good games at, at Lugogo. That's the junior team. I remember the game against Vipers, and uh, it, it was toe to toe. We didn't know who was going to leave the group to play in the finals, and then you won three two. I remember in that one, and you also scored a couple of goals down there. How was it like? Yeah, that match against Vipers helped us to, to leave the table, to go and play the finals and that was the best match for us because we came for a game when we wanted that match so much. Yeah, so after the game we enjoyed so because we knew that's the game we wanted most. Mm. So we're going to be speaking about the final. Uh, we go to Bull 
uh, that is in ginger, the team loses 3 nil. I don't think you had ever lost the game even in the group stages that year. But you lost 3 nil, uh, and you were the captain for that team. Uh, what are some of the lessons you picked from this one? Well, you didn't win the, um, the Juniors League that year, but you would go on to get promoted with other couple of youngsters. Yeah, we lost the game 3 nil in finals. Just because of something, just just little. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, Bull was not that a good team, mm. though we lost to them three nil. Mm. But just that day was not ours, you know. In football, not every day is your day. Mm. So that day, just it was not our luck. But we tried everything, and we did everything we could do. Mm. But we couldn't manage like to overcome the results. You're, you know, like they had that advantage since they were playing even from home. They had fans, so that's the advantage they had. Because mm. they had their home, home advantage, yeah. What, what are some of the lessons you picked from that final as a player? Yeah, the lesson I picked from that final was just Playing from home gives you the morale to play. So, if you were playing from home, I know it would also be what it would be good for us also. So, playing from home, I think like playing from home is good. So they had that advantage because they were playing from home. So, I feel like that's the advantage they have. So, that's a lesson I also learned that playing from home is good because you always be when you're having fans. You play when you're having confidence. And the pitch also favors because, yeah, when you're at home. Yeah. Has that been your worst experience in, 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 in football, in your football career? Losing that final? Because I know how much you badly needed it. I, I saw all the preparation. Was that your worst? Yeah, it has been worse because the junior team, this junior league was played for so far, like, think of a four season. Mm. You know, KCC has no trophy yet. So mm. we were very eager because we wanted that trophy, so it has been my worst. So I think I was going to be like, the first, like, I think it was going to be something very good for me to be the captain for, the, for KCC and to take the first trophy for the Junior League with KCC. Yeah. Yeah. So it has been my worst game and the worst final ever. Okay, okay now uh, speak about being the captain for the Junior team. Well, you did win with the Junior team. But in your, you were promoted at the end of that season, that is the 2019 season. And uh, starting with 2019-2020, you got into the senior team. In your first tournament, you won the Sekafa Kagambe Cup. We are taking 41 years to win this tournament. You played four games in that one. How was the experience like? First of all, what are the words that Coach Mike told you when he told you that you were traveling with the team to Rwanda? Yeah, the manager has been talking to me. Not even before, it, he has been talking to me since, mm. even when we were still in the junior league, because he has been telling me, you, you are going to go and play Sekafa. We are like six players, so he has been telling me, we are going to play Sekafa. So I could not believe like what he was saying. Even when we were going for the finals, I sat near him in the bus, so he was also telling me about Sekafa. Yeah, so I could not believe what he was trying to tell me. So I thought maybe he was just joking, but he was serious about it. <laughs> So you get into uh, the tournament, that is the Sekafa Kagame Cup. You didn't play the first game, but you played the second game that is against Azam. So how does he prepare, how did he prepare you going into this one? Sekafa, I went for the tournament. So as me, I thought I was not going to play that tournament. I thought manager was just taking me like to see the experience and to see like how they play, something like that. Mm. But surprisingly, after the first game, I did not play the first game. After the first game, immediately after the game, he called me like in his room. He told me, tomorrow you're going to play. So I could not believe that I was going to play when he told me you are going to play because I was even scared. Since I was not somehow ready, I was just promoted. So I was like, where will I start from? Yeah, because, you know, I was still young. When he told me, I, as long as you can play, whether you're young, you can play. Yeah, so and then I believed this word that very night, yeah, whether I'm young, I know I can make it, mm. yeah. Wow, and uh, you got on to have a very good tournament. But first forward, that is to the quarterfinals against Ryan Sport. Uh, the team had left Huye to Chigali, 
and again you played in that one you hopped off injured uh, in the second half what, what, what was the problem oh, and how do, how did you get to uh, recover from that one because you played again in the final yeah it was not some it was not a serious injury mm. yeah it was against Ryan's part in quarterfinals I just got a knock from my knee I think it was around 80, 80, 80, 86 minutes yeah Mm. Then I got off the pitch, mm. yeah, because it was not that serious, so I managed to miss out the semi-finals because of that knock, but finals I was back again. Wow, now speaking about the final, how did you feel playing in the final? Man, the last guys that had played in the final, uh, the Philip Mondes, I, I and you have not watched these guys, we have only heard about them, but they are the last guys that played that final in 78 and they won it. So you played in this one, how do you feel, first of all, just playing in the final? Playing the finals was something very good for me. I felt so proud like to play finals with a team like KCC and to play Azam in finals and in a tournament like Sekafa like that I've never played even before. I felt so proud like playing the finals. Mm. Yeah. And then the team got on to win one nil. Kept a clean sheet in the final. Uh, your defense with uh, Magambo, Kato and Kiza Mustafa with Lokwago in goal as the captain also. How did you feel winning the Sekafa? I felt so good winning the Sekafa and I felt so proud after winning the Sekafa, you know, winning the Sekafa after 41 years so and then we made it and we won the Sekafa, you know, I felt so good and then I was so proud after 41 years, you know, and I was still in the junior team, I just came up to the senior team and then I won the trophy that was won after 41 years by KCC. so I was so proud and proud of, very proud to win that Sekapa tournament. I know, you definitely must have really been proud. So your team left Chigali and uh, got, to, got back to Uganda, played in the Pilsner Super 8, that is the tournament before the league. And uh, yes, you got your first goal for the club, it was against Oduparaka, right? Yeah. <laughs> how did it feel scoring? Because you had been scoring the junior team, I know. But how does it feel scoring in your, I mean, in the senior team, as a defender? How does it feel? Yeah, I felt so good, you know, mm. I couldn't believe that I could score. You know, even when I scored, I was even just confused. I had no celebration even because mm. scoring for KCCA senior team and it was my first goal for the senior team. So I could not believe. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And then again, you scored against uh, Proline in the Proline. Super Cup final. And then, yeah, we won that, that Super Cup final 4-1. How, how did you feel winning? Uh, that's the second trophy for the club in the space of, I think, one month or two. Yeah, it felt also so good winning the Super Cup when we played Pro Line and the finals and we won 4 1. Yeah, I also felt good winning my second trophy in a year. And the second one, I went, it was just in between, I think, one to two months. Mm. And then we won again in the Super Cup. So I felt so good winning again the second trophy with KCCA. So I wanted even to win like with KCCA the league trophy, but pandemic like spoiled everything mm. so we didn't finish our games yeah but i should say the future is very bright for you and as a defender musa what is your best position because i've seen you play in the center back in the junior team you've played against in the, in the, in the defensive midfield you played as a right back what is your best position where you feel more comfortable as a player my best position i me i play all numbers so but my best position is uh is the center back mm. So, but I feel comfortable in any number a manager puts me on, mm. puts me in, yeah, mm. I can just play. But my best position when I'm comfortable in is the central, the centre back, yeah, mm. central defence. I remember the time you played in centre back against uh, Vipers, that is a win. You had a very good game. You should have been the man of the match in that one, I'm not so sure. But I think you should have been, as for KCC, you were the man of the match for the club. But you, you, you really had a brilliant one, I should say. Uh, that's against Vipers. How did you feel playing in a big game like that? Yeah, against Vipers, I just see like it was not a big game. Because mm. in Sekaf I played big games, like the club I've never seen. Yeah, but for Vipers it was just like... Any I, other normal game? I yeah, mean. it was just a normal game, like training just, mm. yeah. Mm. Against Vipers, because I've played big games when we were in Rwanda. <laughs> Did you say training? Yeah. <laughs> so Vipers game, is, it was just like training. <laughs> So who's it was a, not that a big game. At the club, uh, who is your best player? Who is your best friend? Sorry. 
You know, at the club, mm, I have friend. my best friends. There are, there are many. Who? I, I want that one. I know you mean you have many. One. Yeah, there are many, but one is Aliro Moses. Why Aliro? Yeah, why Aliro is because you know we come together, we grew up together, we started playing together when we were still in the Destiny Sports Academy. You know, we started our the academy when we are together. And in high school, we are in high school together in Chibuli SS. Wow. Yeah, so even up to now, we are still staying together. We stay together, mm -hmm. me and him. Yeah, okay. so he's my best friend. Do you have any role models internationally, a defender that you look up to and you're like, wow, that guy is top class? Yeah, my role model is Captain Fantastic. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Sergio Ramos. <laughs> Why? Because of his character or the way he did Yeah, the, team? the way he plays and then because of his character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's how you want to be like. Yes. Stuff as him. Yeah. I think you're going to be like that. Yeah. I'll and be then like locally, who is your uh, who is Locally, that my best defender is Mushore Juko. Mushore Juko. Yeah. National team player. Yeah, national team player. Okay. Yeah, I admire like mm -hmm. his playing styles, the way he plays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just admire the way he plays and I want to play like him. Okay. Yeah. So finally, what are your goals for the season um, going into the 2020-2021 season? The team has signed a couple of good players. We have Iguma Dennis playing in the defence for next season. I think a player that will help you so much more. And um, what are your goals, finally? My goal is to win that trophy next season with the team. The league? Yeah, the league trophy with the team. Okay. And to take the team to the group stages of Confederation Cup. Wow. Yeah, my goal is to win all the trophies next season, okay. and I know we can make it. Wow. Yeah, and uh, about the new signing, you no, know, like for us the defenders, we are they had they added for us like Iguma Dennis. So I would also feel so proud and very happy to play with him. Wow. Yeah, you know, he has played many games. I know you he has that experience. So I would also be proud like to play with a senior player like him. Like Iguma Dennis. Yes. So finally Musa, you're going to look into that camera and advise that youngster out there who is looking at Musa Ramadan and saying, I want to be like that guy. He's 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 one a couple of things for the football club. He's matured and and, and, and he's a really budding talent for the club and for the nation. Kind of look at that camera and advise that youngster. Yeah the only advice is just through hard working. You know when you know you really need something you know, you have to work hard for it. Yeah, the advice is just, it's all about hard working. So when you work hard, you'll get what you want. Yeah. Now guys, you've heard it. That is Musa Ramadan, former captain for the KCCA junior team. And he's also now playing for the KCCA senior team promoted last year in 2019. First season won the Sekafa Kagame Cup, won the Super Cup for the club, helped the club finish second in the Start Times Uganda Premier League. We'll be having more guests on the show and also there will be players and different officials. We'll be going to a break and when we return, we have an unveiling. That is the eighth unveiling for KCCFC in this particular window. Do you know the player? Do you know what he said in his first interview? Everything on this show after this break. Now welcome back from that break and in this one we have the big news for the week that is the 8th unveiling for KCCFC in this particular window. You're going to be getting to know the manager's take on this player. The player's thought that is for joining KCCFC. Who is this player? His player profile and everything about the player. But first, he's unveiling and this is what happened when KCCFC was unveiling signing number 8.
Wow, what an unveiling. Now, who is Aida Dominic? Aida Dominic's nickname is Dom, born on the 24th of December 2003. He's 16 years of age. He's a teenager. His height is 5.6 feet. His weight is 65 kilograms. His strong foot is the right leg, and his strong hand is the right hand. His favorite shirt number is shirt number 10. His, his attributes are scoring goals, dribbling, and creating assists. Now, what is Aira Dominic's education background? Aira started school in Anebo Kindergarten, that is in Gulu. He later joined Chirombe Primary School in Gulu for his P1 to P7. He later joined St. Joseph College Laibi in Gulu for his A-level, that is from Senior 1 to Senior 4. Then later, he joined Masaka Secondary School, where he's currently a student in his Senior 5. Now, Aira Dominic's football career. He started football in 2008, that was at Chirombe Primary School in Gulu, until 2015. He later joined St. Joseph's College Laibi, where he had his O-level education from 2016 to 2019. In 2019, that is last year, he joined KCCFC Soccer Academy, that is the junior team. And then in 2020, he joined Masaka SS, that is this year, one of our schools of excellence, and is currently playing there, that is for the school. And in 2020, he's been promoted from the KCC junior team to the KCCFC senior team. And now we also caught up with the gaffer, that is Mike Mutevi, on his take about signing number eight, Aida Dominic. This is what happened we caught, when we caught up with Aida Dominic and Mike Mutevi. First of all, I would like to thank the Almighty God who has enabled me to get promoted to senior team. Secondly, I want to thank the club chairman, Mr. Martin, the assistant club chairman, Mr. Agri, the CEO of the club, Madam Anisha, and the club admin, Mr. Kadu, and the technical team. And I'm very grateful to, to sign for the club because it has always been my dream to sign for the club. So I'm very happy and I feel so glad about it to sign for the club. And getting promoted to senior team, senior team is something which is not easy. So according to my experience, I feel so great about getting promoted because you need to first work so, so hard in junior team for you to get that chance to go in the senior team. So to myself, I feel I'm so, so glad about it because it wasn't easy in junior team. I put much effort for myself to get that chance to be promoted in senior team. Mm, the course that I'm doing in school, I'm doing PEM. Uh, that is physics, economics, and mathematics. So the way I will be balancing school and football, I will make sure that I have the schedules during the time for class or time for school, I will also make I will always make sure that I concentrate and give my level base one hundred percent to school. And when it when it comes to time for football, I will always concentrate. So balancing football and school, it needs a lot of concentration. So I will take what it takes for me to succeed. So I make sure I balance both. Uh, as a forward. The attributes that I have is to score goals, create chances, be creative in the game. Always make sure that I'm contributing a lot more and more for the team to win. So by scoring goals, creating chances, always being available. Like you see, always like be like I'm only one, I'm the only one in the in the pitch, but that means I'm always available for the team. My role model. In Uganda was Alan Okello. Uh, I liked him because the way he plays, the way the, the kind of goals he scores, and the thing the thing he does, incredible good. And internationally, my role model is Neymar because of the creative creativity he has got and the self confidence and ability to do incredible things, which are unbelievable. Uh, what the fans should expect out of me. 
always the smiling face. What I will be doing will be incredibly good. So the club, uh, the fans should always expect smiling face, scoring unknown goal from unknown side. You don't expect, you just be looking at your phone, you find the, goal, the ball in the net. So, should be smiling face on. That's how we have always prepared them, to have confidence in themselves. They are not timid, uh, despite the fact that they are young, but they are too assured of themselves. So, for me, that gives me confidence, because you're going to work with somebody who knows what they want to do, and, uh, you know, it also helps me to promote him, to develop him, because he has the confidence, and which confidence can be used to work with. It depends. Even Alan Okelo was in that same thing. Poloto was in that same thing. He's confident enough to juggle the two things that they go. So when it's time for classes, it's going to be at class. When it's time for football, then he will render his services where need be. A good dilemma, no problem with it. No problem with it. It's a big team. Every position has two brilliant, young, enthusiastic players. So uh, they will always fight for number. And whoever does better is selected. We have always had to bring in young players. Uh, season last, all the players that played came from the development side. All of them, so I think 13 or 14 of them, you see. And uh, the same thing, having long-term contracts with them because they are still growing and you need to stay with them for their own stability and stability of the club. So it is not new. And uh, the, the game now, needs young, energetic players who can run who can run 120 minutes non-stop. So with them available, I think they're going to it's going to add something to the team. Like I said, creativity. We had lost creativity when Okero departed. We looked very flat no imagination in the midfield, so, but with him and some others who are brought in, I think we'll render that creativity to the club. Now we've heard it from both Aira Dominic and the gaffer, Mike Motebi, very confident player, Aira Dominic, from the junior team. Yes, we'll keep promoting those players from the junior team and to the senior team if we feel they have the potential to take the team forward. And that has been it. For this week, we remember we had the social media trivia where we had no winner for this week. Uh, surprising, we had no winner. That last happened in the first social media trivia we had. We also caught up with Musa Ramadan, the former captain for the KCCA junior team, now playing for the KCCA senior team. And then we had an unveiling, that is unveiling number eight, Aida Dominic, on the show. We are still having some more unveilings in, the, in a couple of weeks coming. And uh, you don't want to guess who is coming because it's hot stuff happening at KCCFC. That has been it for this week. That was episode number 13. Episode number 14 will even be hotter. My name is Magero Moses Mwanje. Yeah.